When grandma was a girly, it was the custom. Each night before she put her hair up in curls to kneel and tell her troubles to the angels. And that was the way with all the good little girls. But nowadays the maids are mercenary. For earthly blessings is all they seem to care. They go down on their knees and ask the angels, please, to hearken to this modern maiden's prayer. Give me a lot of bows and lots of pretty clothes. Give me a Pekingese and seats for all the shows. Give me a millionaire to fall in love with me. Take me to rectors, pay the collectors, one of those purely platonic protectors. Give me a limousine and diamonds like a queen. Give me most anything else you have to spare. Give me the boy that I am after. Let me retain my girlish laughter. That's the 20th century maiden's prayer. And don't you know, last week I went to a suffragettes meeting and I spoke to the suffragettes. I said, give us the chance to vote. Let the women vote. Send the women to the polls. Why don't you let the women go to the polls? And some fresh man stood up in the back of the room and said, yes, let the women go to the polls. The North Pole and the South Pole. Give me a chance to vote and get some fellow's goat. Give me the right to search my husband's pants and coat. Give me a gown with lines, one must have them at times. If I could say much, be optimistic. Give me a man with an eye that's artistic. Give me a bathing suit so folks can say I'm cute. I won't even let the water touch my hair. And if it proves my marriage is phony, give me lots of alimony. That's the 20th century maiden's prayer.